Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video. I'm Get Good Guy, and today I'm kicking off my reviews of the new guns from the Weapon Crate update with the M1917 Patrol Carbine. Now, keep in mind that this is a pretty early review of the weapon as it only just came out. Plus, Simplic.com, where most YouTubers tend to get their BF1 stats from, hasn't yet added the new weapons. So, today we'll be focusing on the basics and my opinion more so than usual. So, the Patrol Carbine is a semi automatic assault weapon which fires at three. 359 rounds per minute and can utilize a pretty massive 41 rounds per reload. It's also, of course, an alternative variant of the M1917 trench carbine, with logic dictating that that version of the weapon is designed more for hip fire and has an iron sight rather than a scope. And although this is a different variant, many of the detailed stats will be the same as those I covered in my recent video on the trench carbine, so I'll link to that in the description and in my pinned comment if you'd like to go and get the info from there. But back to the patrol car. Carbine. It's essentially given that, with it being a semi-automatic weapon, you're going to need to have a fast trigger finger and good aim in order to take advantage of this weapon's strengths. That rate of fire of 359 rounds per minute can see you drop people at close range pretty quickly, but if you aren't able to fire off your rounds at a good pace, then the patrol carbine really won't be for you, and due to requiring quite a few shots to kill at certain ranges, missing shots is again going to hold you back. Now to aid in hitting the target more consistently, you have a scope on this variant of the M1917 carbine. What I've done with it in the footage you're seeing is the same as I do for many scoped weapons. I set the magnification to the lowest point possible. This allows me to contest close quarters gunfights much as I would with an iron sight while still supposedly taking advantage of great range potential by virtue of having a scope. But for me, I had hoped that this variant would feel a little more viable at range than the trench carbine and I don't think it really does in a lot of ways, at least not by much at all. Obviously I can't see spread stats etc, but I hoped that the patrol would feel a bit more punchy at range than the trench, and then have that balanced out with a bit more noticeable recoil. And there may well be a little more recoil on this variant, and the spread may be a bit different as well, but in practice, it kinda just felt like an ever so slightly different trench carbine with a scope. Perhaps I was expecting too much from it and simply had my hopes up too high. And this is where it will come down to the individual, because I'm not saying this weapon is bad, because I don't think it is. It's much like what I said about the trench variant. It's pretty pretty solid at everything, allowing you to contest fights at a multitude of ranges without being truly great at any one thing. It's fun, it's a great option to have if you need to switch things up with the assault class, especially on more open maps, but it isn't exactly top tier. Thankfully, it does still have solid hip fire at close range, which you can rely on to drop people with relative ease, although it seemingly isn't as good as the trench variants of course. And again, then coupling that with the range capabilities that don't feel all that different from the trench, well for players like me, the scope just feels a had pointless. I often now enjoy using scoped variants of weapons to get that boost to my range ability, but it just doesn't seem to come off with the patrol carbine. For some, it will be exactly what they wanted for this weapon, allowing them to acquire the target more easily if they struggle with the iron sights of the trench variant. But I honestly prefer the trench carbine. It just felt that bit better and made a little more sense to me. How much of this can be statistically backed up and how much is placebo or nocebo, well I truly don't know, but I can only go with how I feel. Plus the in-game stats show that the trench absolutely has better hip fire and accuracy. And while I do like this weapon, again it's a fun addition and you can do some great work with it, it's not what I'd hoped for and I'll likely go for the trench variant more often. So if you want an all round decent option for the assault class, something that can drop people at close range while still being able to reliably hit medics at longer ranges, even if it isn't for that much damage, then give this one a go. You might enjoy it, but don't expect it to be beating automaticos and RSC SMGs at close range. And don't expect it to be beating Shusas and SMLEs at long range, because it's just not going to happen unless that enemy player simply can't hit their shots. Plus, I also get a strong sense that the patrol carbine is going to be heavily overshadowed by the Ribe Rale optical, based on just how many people I saw using that yesterday. We'll just have to see how that plays out long term. But, this is all just my opinion. What do you think? Are you excited for the M1917 patrol carbine? And which new weapon are you most looking forward to using? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, let's go over to the Board of Awesome for the fantastic people who allow you to get content from me full time. They support the channel on Patreon and it's vital to keeping this many uploads possible. So thank you so much to everyone on here. If you want to join them on the Board of Awesome, then the link to the Patreon page is in the description and in my pinned comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss future videos, including all of the other Weapon Crate update reviews, and feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy, and I'll see you next time. Laters.